Keyword research is a crucial thing you need to know when you're publishing your book. Method I will show you helped me to make more than $7,000 on Amazon. And believe me, I did books without keyword research, only on hype themes, but it gives me nothing. So on my opinion, it's a vital part of your book creation. Keywords, it's such type of uh, words or requests that uh, potential customer uh, type on Amazon search bar to looking for something. Our task is make our book showing on that particular request and it would be good if our book will show in on the first page of such request obviously less than half of customers will click on the second and or on the third page but the problem is not only you want to be on the first page so there are many competitors that want to do the same we need to go further and find out how to be showing on the first page. Before we will start, I recommend you to install a free Chrome plugins to your computer. The first one is DS Amazon Quick View and the other one is AMZ Suggestion Expander. To go further, you already have to know what kind of niche you're interested in. If you don't know, then don't forget to subscribe to the channel because in the next video I will show you my method how to find a profitable niche. Just for example, let's take a logbook. I recommend you to use incognito mode because Amazon save all your history and when you type something in search bar it will show you the books that match more to you. Go to Amazon, incognito window. Let's change our delivery to I will choose zip code from USA, 134, United States. Let's type logbook. And now we see the search result more than 50,000. It's too much, but let's take this keyword and go to the Excel file and just write it down. So, keyword is logbook, search result 50,000. Go back to Amazon, click, and on the left side with white background, you see Amazon suggestion. It shows what else our potential customers type in the search bar. On the right side, additional suggestion from our plugin AMZ. It shows additional information what else the customers type in search bar. Now we need to type in every suggestion we see from Amazon and from IMZ plugin. So let's start with Amazon suggestion, logbook notebook. So we can see the search result is less but uh, still big than we are interested in. It's 30,000. But let's copy paste it to our spreadsheet. 30,000. Okay, go to the next, logbook for trackers, 7000, more interesting, okay, copy paste, 7000. So our task is to go through all of them and type in every single keyword and the search result next to one in our Excel file. I recommend you to avoid any type of keywords that you can't produce. I will show you. For example, we type logbook binder, logbook binder. Let's go. And as you can see, it's not paperback, it's not a book. You cannot produce anything like this. So avoid and don't save such keywords in your list. The another thing that you cannot produce is uh, spiral books. So logbook, spiral. It's spiral on the spine. We cannot produce any of them. This process can be very long because every time you type a new keyword, the Amazon suggestion or MZ will show you additional keywords. But if you want to be a professional and find a profitable keywords, you need to go through all of them. When the process is done, we need to go to our file and sort for our search results. Go here, click filter, 
now. And now we see logbook pilot 545, blood sugar logbook for diabetics and insulin tracker 465 search result. Everything less than 1000 is good to using this keyword. The another thing we need to find out is how often customers type these particular keywords on the Amazon search bar. Our sales will depend on the number of search results. So the popularity of the book will give some hint to pick up one or another keyword. The easiest way to understand if there are any potential to sell is just to look through the BSR best seller run. The plugin I recommended you to install is DS Amazon QQ. It will show us the best seller rank on every page. So let's go to our blood sugar logbook for diabetics and insulin tracker keyword. And now we need to find is there any book with bestseller rank less than 300,000? So, the first one 2 million, no, almost a million, more than we need, no, and here we are Blood Sugar Logbook less than 300,000. Here we are Blood Sugar, Blood Pressure, okay, yes, it's good. Okay, so we see this particular keyword is good for using. If you couldn't find any book with bestseller rank less than 300,000, so just close this keyword and go further. If you wanna know more, you can buy additional tool which help you and show additional information. For example, I use Rocket Publisher that gives me more information, such as Amazon number of search results, Per month. It will save a significant time for your searching. If you're interested in, I leave the link below this video. With this tool you can add one more column to your Excel sheet. So let's type any of keywords to see what the publisher rocket will show us. For example, let it be blood sugar logbook. Go get a rocket. Now we see a list of the keywords and press this button. And in this column, as you see, it's estimated Amazon searches per month. Now we can sort by this button and see the most interesting keyword we're interested in. Blood sugar logbook for girls because the estimate Amazon searches per month is more than 3,000, almost 4,000 searches per month. The interesting thing that the Publisher Rocket will give us more keywords than we can take and uh, write in our Excel sheet. So now we can find out Amazon searches per month for every hour keyword and write down it in our Excel sheet. Let's write it down, Command C. Come on, we. And now we can sort by this column. Go here, filter. Let's take this one. The numbers in this column are just for example. I just want to show you something interesting. So, this one and this one. It's a similar logbook, but. Blood sugar logbook for diabetics pocket size has search results 3000 and Amazon search per month more than 5000. And this one, an insulin tracker, has 565 search results. And without this column, we probably choose this particular keyword. But now we see that this keyword gives us less than 100 searches per month. But this one has 3000 results, yes, it's many competitors, but it will give us more than 5,500 search results per month. And in this case, I will probably choose this particular keyword, because it can give me more money. You know, while I'm editing this video, I realized that I didn't make any conclusions for you. 
so here it is if you didn't choose your niche then take a best keyword that you found and use it as a title and the second one as a subtitle but of course you need to use the similar keyword that you have found for example if you find out that the blood sugar logbook is the best keyword then take it as a title and the second one for example is blood sugar logbook for girls and the third one is a blood sugar logbook for girls age 13 till 20 i don't know then for title you use blood sugar logbook and in title you write for girls age from 13 till 20 and for the next keyword you have found you take it and write down into your seven boxes so the third fourth fifth best keywords you have found you write in your seven boxes and if you already pick your niche then just take the best keywords you have found and write it down into your seven boxes so yeah now you have my conclusions for this video if you still didn't choose your niche you are going to make then i recommend to see the next video in this video i will show you where i am picking up the ideas what to publish next thank you for watching and hope i will see you in the next video bye bye